It is a bit of a rainy day today. Figured I'd take some time and do a little update. And, you know, it's about time I released a video. It's been a long time and I'm not even sorry about that because I'm too sore and too tired. I have been busier than you would believe. The flowers are coming along nicely. So one of the things I've been busy at is removing all of these windows and putting them back in properly because the guy who put them in had no sense of consistency whatsoever and trimming them out. And I don't know if you can see but there are seven pieces in each of these windows. There's the sill and then these three pieces are all actually double pieces. There's a piece behind it so I have something to nail to with the trim. So they're all trimmed out, all in cedar. There's no finish on them. And one thing I'll note, make a note of is right here you can see there's a little slot in each one of those. And that is to stop the rain. It will drip off of there and grip to the bottom surface and actually come down the wall and that will stop it. It'll drip off before it hits the wall. So yeah, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five windows, all trimmed out in cedar, and none of those pieces I think are the same size. I think every one is individually sized because of the way I had to work with the the distance between the the window and the siding, and I made it all fit. And these windows were all put in one way originally, the original windows, and these two windows were put in slightly differently, and those are all trimmed in cedar, and these one, two, three, four, five windows were put in a third way, and the last window was put in a fourth way. So yeah, I had to kind of make adjustments as I went. And that just might be slight variations on the siding too. If you notice the other ones, the siding comes down below the top of the window. And these ones, they just reach the top of the siding. So there was no consistency in that either, in the original construction. Uh, the backyard that I cleared out I, don't th I think I mentioned it in another video, but yeah, this was like, this was like that before. And now you can actually walk through here. So we got a small spot that you can actually walk through here and enjoy the bush, enjoy the forest, and there'll be more of that to do. A lot more of that. And uh, what have I been doing with all my shavings? from milling up the cedar. Oh, I've been mulching a path. So yeah, we've got a nice little area through here. So, I got a spot for my shavings anyways. And then, there was this window I had to do, and that's the window I actually built myself. Double pane windows. And when we first moved in, these were like plastic panels, like what you see over top of a fluorescent light fixture. And that's what those were. No insulation value. So I built my own double pane window. And that's all trimmed in cedar. And as you can see, it's got the sill on it and everything, the same as the rest of them for some consistency. Uh, that window I have yet to trim out. And that will be done the same, and that's another window that I built. So, all kinds of things. Keeping the grass cut, it takes a whole day to cut the lawn around here. I think we've got a couple of acres. Not sure if you can see, but we've been planting trees. And, uh, not all of them have made it. So we've planted this whole area. Uh, our sign we've put up, renting rooms out. Uh, a lot of things that really don't stand out. It's like 
you're doing jobs and working your butt off and by the time you get done the job nothing looks any different oh this whole garden this whole garden was grass and we've got most of that cleaned out now it needs weeding again got some flowers planted in there little bits at a time let's go down to the shop because that's where I've done a bit of work down there and we'll take you down and show you the chapel oh just hold it the chapel is uh, got a leaky roof but uh, we're just using it for well, I got tools and stuff stored in here and wood storage I had a picture on my Instagram of my pile of wood and that's getting pretty low and I just went down and bought some more one by eight seater to do some more work and it's sitting there stickered and drying but yeah still a really nice room but you know there's buckets around for the leaks on the roof uh, that one's actually a garbage can yeah one of our people who are staying with us does some artwork I guess she likes doing doggies so yeah she's an engineer heading up a section of a big hydroelectric project going on through here so nice young lady I'll tell you come up here your attitude toward Millennials really changes because there are some hard-working kids around here uh, the girl that I got the 1 by 8 off of she's just a young lady and starting her own mill up uh, some more cedar now uh, the biggest change down here is I got rid of all those stupid four-foot fluorescents and uh, put in some of the better eight-foot ones that I had in here and I'm not sure I might put yet one more run in here one more length on that uh, what else has changed around here nothing I just cleaned it up from working oh yeah I got these two lights working after a lot of figuring out and finding out where the wiring was and uh, the whole planer sitting there I put my toolbox over here now and that plug there used to be up here somewhere and it was in such a shape that it was frightening every time I plugged it in I was afraid there were sparks gonna fly these two runs I still haven't run them yet they got the breaker turned off and back here the only thing I've done is put a second light up there I'm hoping that this will be where my workbench goes I still have to take out the floor of the old bathrooms and take down the wall and do a bunch of other work down there so yeah oh a new addition to the shop I uh, got myself the little Bosch router table that's come in handy the toolbox that used to sit over there is, things are moving around I'm still not organized I know where everything is and it's not where I want it to be uh, I've got the shop vacuum hooked up as a dust collector so I move it from there to the table saw right there to the sander as I need it and that's what's been going on in the shop let me get some lights here yeah the first guy I bought the cedar off of uh, a lot of wane edge on it lots of weighing on it so yeah the local girl is a lot closer and better wood by the looks of it still expensive though let's get oh got to turn those lights off too uh, yeah I'm thinking I'll take one of those runs of lights here and great film in the dark so you can't see anything one of those runs and uh, I think that one's a 220 volt and that one's a 110 volt so I might bring it over here somewhere and feed the bench I'm not sure and then I believe the table saw may stay there it may move out a little bit more after I get rid of my sharpening station 
and maybe bring it over here somewhere. Not sure it's going to develop how it develops, but all of this, my hand tool stuff, I eventually want to move into this area over here when I get it straightened out. The paneling will go up on that wall and it should be a nice presentation area. Uh, a pile of junk that I've moved out of the way. I moved that light switch too. Oh, it's very dark in here now on the film. Although you can see pretty good. Uh, let's get upstairs. Oh, and I am really hurting. So, part of the reason why things haven't been being filmed is just lack of time and energy. Uh, in our foyer, that's the door you've seen right at the beginning of the video, we've put in a little snack bar and another little Keurig here. So, you know, people throw money in the, in the pot and they can grab themselves a snack or whatever. A few little shekels in there. The uh, coffee, tea and water is still free. We're going to eat that cost. Oh, a little barbecue, that one of the, the same girl that does the painting. That she tailgates barbecues on the back of the truck. Downstairs, I don't think I'd done much work down here in our rooms. Right now, three of the four of them are rented out. So, we've got guests in there. Oh, the bathroom. Uh, brand new sink. Again because the original one cracked right along here. So I had to change that. Uh, I'm not happy with my drywall work. I'm not very good at drywalling, so I gotta figure out how to get that. I boogered it a little bit. Uh, what else do we got going on down here? Yeah, yeah, that's our only room that's available right now. So, that's the uh, last video I did on the rescue was for those tables. The other one's in another room. And we'll come down here and we'll take a quick peek around. Uh, and we keep messages for our guests here, whatever is going on in town. Uh, we put the full size fridge in here. What else? Oh. Got a Roku TV down here for the guests. So, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool little place to hang out. Our guests seem to like it. We're getting a lot of repeat customers and a lot of people that come and they decide they're just going to stay for a while. Like I said, there's lots of work going on around here and lots of contractors. So they're just renting them by the month, which is fine by us. You can just do a month at a time. And it makes life easy. I'm cleaning every day. And my wife is doing laundry every day. And yeah, it keeps us busy and out of trouble. And when we take a break, we can come out here and sit down here. And, and that's about it. Hummingbirds are being fed. Flowers are being grown. Uh, the grass over the septic system is coming in okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, there you go, a quick little tour. Uh, more trees we planted, and again, one of them is dying. So, yeah, there we go. Back at it. Uh, thanks for your patience. Thanks for dropping in. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and tell your friends to watch my channel because boy oh boy I haven't been doing much and it's really showing on my analytics. So thanks again guys. We'll catch you on the next one. I got projects in plan but when I get time to do them who knows. Uh, I think the shop project is going to be this winter. and. We're a ways from winter yet. Got to get this outside stuff done. 
So the windows look a lot better all dressed out. I got to do some work on the bottom windows too. So, so much for bad contractors. All right. Take care, everybody. Thank you.